Good day, people. Well, this is going to be a video, if it works, if we can do it, that is, on how to change the brake discs on a uh, DAF LF slash Renault Midland slash more names. Volvo FL, I think it is. Volvo FL. Something like that. Um, we just bought this. Uh, 200 pounds we've bought a lorry, I know, right? <laughs> and on the MOT, the brake disc's got a fracture in it. Let's just have a look at that fracture. <laughs> ah. Don't know what they were on about, there's hardly a fracture there. <laughs> yeah, that's not a fracture, it's a, it's a Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that sounded amazing going down the road, that. Let's slam the brakes on. It's had a new horn fitted to it. Yeah. <laughs> Something going for it. So we're going to see how we can do it. We've got a 15 ton bottle jack just down there. We're going to chuck some some brakes underneath it, I think, at some point. All right, we've WD'd everything up, or oiled everything. Hopefully it's going to come straight off. <sighs> we've got a Debolt impact driver. We're going to hope that's enough to get it off. And it's... <laughs> Bigger than the biggest socket we've got, is it? Yeah. 24 mil, I bet. Yeah. What size is that? 27. 27. Ah. Well, we'll see if it works. <laughs> That's amazing, isn't it? It's moved a mil out. For yeah. Christ's sake! I mean, we could probably cut that and just take it off. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like we've got to take all these bolts out here. Yeah. We're literally doing this on a whim because we've never done lorry brakes before. Um, you know, plenty of car brakes. Plenty of car brakes. We've never done lorries before and the thing is, this is the first time I've tried these impact sockets to be fair, but it's getting into them. Yeah. If you use a oh. uh, 22 mil. They would be, wouldn't they? Yeah. Use the long reach, that one there, next to it, that's it, you got it. There we go. Impact driver doesn't like these. No, but if it works, it works. <sighs> Glad he's thinking, bringing this along. Well, we've already given all that a good sprain in there already. A bit more. It's had, it's had two or three shots with that. Uh, Here goes nothing. Yeah, isn't it? so much in this. Yeah, take that off. You might just be able to get in without that. It would be nice. Ah. Yes. Oh, yes. No problem. We have got to somehow figure out how you take the caliper off, haven't we? Yes. Well, we have many hammers. Just need apes to swing them. Uh, apes? So, how does this thing actually come apart then? On my foot? Yes, it's pretty much. Foot. That's it's... pretty sweet. Oh, wow. God, there's two of them on it. Look at that. There's three. There's another one there. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> Crikey. That's unreal, isn't it? I know the DVLA said <laughs> not recommended to be driven. Yeah, they weren't kidding, were they? <laughs> <laughs> they weren't joking. <laughs> Good lord. I'm surprised they didn't report the bloke, to be honest. Not the DVLA, Vos or whatever it is. It probably happened when he was going down the thingy, that. Yeah, I bet it got worse. When, when, when he was going down them Alps. Yeah. The mountains. It's not got a retarder on it or a exhaust brake, this. Yeah, so it's all brakes and engine braking. Which is a bit of a shame. But, but well, for £200? Yeah, you're not fussed, really, are you? We'll figure something out. Yeah, that's it. Right then. Alternator braking. Take the pads out. <laughs> Alternator braking, yeah. Just run that big of an electrical load on it. Yeah. <laughs> you have an electrical generator hooked up to the prop shaft. No, do they put it in a lovely recess that you can't... Yeah, it might need a That's screwdriver nice, or something. I think you'd be able to piggle it out with a screwdriver. Okay. 
I'll pause the video here actually. Mm. Use up all my memory card. Apparently a, meant to be a thing that you turn on the back. A winder thing. Yes, yes. there is. Good, let's do that. Uh, I'm guessing it requires tools. A little bit rusty. Can I see it with the old... Uh, yeah, you will be able to. With the camera. I need a torch. Oh yeah, so there is. Yeah. Torch, oh she is. Okay, what we got here then? Use a ridiculously small nut. They do, don't they? Damage. What is it? 8mm? Looks like an 8mm that does. Crikey. Oh, all I can say is it must be a... Uh... That oh. goes in my good design award. Oh, let's see what we can do with it. Mmm. Okay, so on the back of the caliper there are 21mm bolts. Uh, three each side. Literally just there. Uh, and the same on the other side. You take them out. The whole caliper lifts off, as my brother's going to demonstrate. Like yeah, that. There we go. Only just sit on the on the back there. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Well. Wow. Technically, this has been easier than most than some cars I've worked on. Wow. Yeah. It's definitely more simple. Just everything's bigger. Yeah. How about that thing? Is that going to come off though? Oh, it spins freely now. Yeah. So yeah, that was binding a lot. <laughs> Might have to cut that kidder off. Look at the state of it. Yeah. So at least it's half done for us. So what holds it on now? Should it just... I think it'll just fall off. If you whack it with the hammer, get that hammer just there and give it a couple of whacks. Oh, I've not got much to lose. Give it a bit of a spin. Oh, wow! <laughs> Is your counterweight? <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> this off your brake disc. Well, it's not amazing quality metal, is it? Not massive, is it? Yeah. Well, I didn't expect that. Nice. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. That is unbelievable. He's dead lucky that never fractured on him, isn't it? Spin it around as you go, I think. You could put some... That is unbelievable. It's moving. You see, you've not got the strength to fracture it like I did. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's the brake disc off. This was all rust all inside this lip here, so we've just chipped all that out. If I had a wire brush, I would be wire brushing that, but I've not got one with me. Uh, even some sandpaper or something. Uh, it'll be all right. Look at the rust built up inside the disc. Beautiful. Say hi to the prop chef for me. Yeah. I want to see that exhaust as well. Yeah. Oh, oh that is funny. The nice hole in the side. Yeah. yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? You know what I think we'll do to get that for an MOT? What? Just cut the whole silencer off. <laughs> yeah, let's take it off. It's yeah. still past the cab, so it'll pass. Exactly. Cut the silencer off and just stick the pipe sticking out the side on a bit of flexi. Beautiful. Nice. ABS sensing ring on that lot. There's the hole just behind it there for the ABS sensor. Well, thankfully our one's not got ABS. Well, not that it's very hard. It's, yeah, it's very simple on these. Well, naturally we're in England, so obviously it's raining. Literally, this is five minutes difference from the last uh, pause in the video. And we've got absolute monsoon deluge. Oh, great. They just love the UK, huh? Right. Okay. <laughs> now do something else. Like what? You fucking know, clean that rim, that thing. What are you stop fucking about? <laughs> oh god. 
Well, according to this, there's only a 22% chance of this happening. But, uh, because we're out in it. I've got a mirror. Yeah, that's it. Wow. Yeah, 22% chance of that. It says sunny intervals. <laughs> nice. Well, the toolkits are now a lake. The dashboard and the clocks are now a lake. <laughs> it's a good thing this thing doesn't need massive uh, ECUs, ECUs and, stuff. and stuff because we're going to have some electrical fault. Mm. Uh, all my power tools are soddened. But at least it's closer to done. <laughs> I mean, I think it actually went better than I expected. Yeah, it, to. it definitely went better than we thought it was going to go. Yeah. Oh, Christ. I can't believe that breaks still. I wonder how long it's been like that. Mm. Mm. I mean, if the that disc guy was, was literally getting in half. 30 to the gallon with the brake like that. Binding like it was. Yeah, what's he yeah. going to be getting now? I mean, <laughs> I don't get 28 to the gallon. Well, I, I'd literally get 28 miles to the gallon out of a Iveco. Mm. That's a damn sight smaller than this. But he reckons, constantly going on about it, 30 miles to the gallon. If I get that, I'll be really happy. Because <laughs> I was expecting something like 19, 18. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> it's a shame we've got to sit in the ocean now, isn't it? It is. And we're sodden now. Yeah.